Game. You kicked things off for the United States against Iran in the gold medal finals at the World Cup. Describe that feeling. I've never been more happy to be a part of this country, you know, and one of God's children than I am right now. Uh, that being said, we got a long duel. I got, you know, we got to support our guys out there right now. You know, Seth's going, and you know, I want to see wins all up and down the lineup. And uh, it was a hard-fought battle. That was an awesome competitive match. Uh, not, I don't think my greatest performance by any means, but it doesn't matter. Those are points for Team USA. Uh, and I'm just happy to be a part of this moment. This is this is incredible. But you are clicking right now. Things are working. They can yeah. be the call for this. When did you know you were going to be the person to wrestle over Nick Siriano? Uh, I was actually getting my uh, my uh, coach's gear, not Madeline, my other coach, Ibrahim Eliazov, and. Uh, if he was staying with Medlin, I gotta move him over. He might be staying with me or might be sleeping in the car somewhere, I don't know. But uh, I was getting that and we had a call from Bill and you know the way it, the phone call starts, there's my coach right now. Uh, you know, the way the phone call starts isn't, isn't great, but you know, Medlin turns around and he just starts bumping his fist. And I'm like, oh it looks like I'm wrestling, you know, because I don't think he'd be happy if I wasn't. Uh, that being said, I think Nick would have done a tremendous job. And uh, kudos to him for being here for this camp. Getting a hard win against that Georgian guy. He's a tough competitor as well. So, uh, again, you know, just like that, I, I'm a part of a team of guys like Nick Suriano, you know, Jordan Burroughs, Seth Gross, Daniel DeShazer, all these men. You know, they, the U.S. considered me a part of this group and the men who came before it. You know, great, great men who came before us and who, you know, paid with literal blood and sweat to give us the country we have. And I'm just extraordinarily proud to be a part of that. Going specifically to the match, you score first, a mm -hmm. couple two. You know, you got the twos, he got the ones. The one time, the, you know, the out of bounds call yep, could have yep. went either way. Yeah. And I, you seem so composed. Like, it's a bad call, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I've got some guys in the room who can do way worse than that guy could. No, I'm, not, I'm not trying to put that no, guy down. It. Yeah, yeah. But there's guys who, you know, I'm up by six. You better check yourself. 12 seconds is a lot of time. You know, but Medlin has put me there. Ibrahim has put me there. You know, Poeta, Hunter, even Isaiah, you know, when he's sitting on the couch next to me being a jerk about some video game, he's put me in those situations to stay composed. And, I, you know, again, I'm just really thankful I get to be a part of these men. And God's given that opportunity to be a part of that, that community. Your composure was really impressive. You come back, it's 4-2, you know you win 4-4, I'm yeah, sure. It's 4-2, I can win 4-4, but and he got in deep, which again, I'm, I'm thinking like, how the heck? He shouldn't sniff your leg. Right. But instead of just holding on for a second, I think, and I'm like, you know, I think I can just score this and end it. <laughs> and sure enough, found a way to do it, right? So, but, you know, kudos to the, the Iranian. That was a very tough wrestler. Uh, hope to see him again in the future. Awesome, man. Really well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.